Prior to 1980, Spirit Lake was known for its amazing clarity, tranquility, and great beauty. It was home to youth camps, lodges, and campgrounds, and was a favorite place for hiking, camping, and boating. In the evening, people gathered around the campfire and told stories of the legendary Bigfoot. Spirit Lake of today bears no resemblance to the past. The lake lies buried beneath hundreds of feet of mud and rock that surged into the lake during the 1980 eruption. Its surface is littered with trees that were felled by the lateral blast before being swept back into the lake by a 300 foot tall wave generated by the massive landslide. Following the eruption, the lake was a steaming cauldron of dissolved organic matter and minerals that bubbled with microbial activity. The water cleared as dissolved nutrients were processed by countless generations of bacteria and diluted by rain and snowmelt. As sunlight penetrated the water column, algae and other aquatic plants flourished, forming the basis for a highly productive aquatic system. In 1993, biologists found the first fish in Spirit Lake. It is believed that the rainbow trout were illegally stocked by anglers. The Forest Service and State of Washington are working together to protect and learn from this once-in-a-lifetime research opportunity. The lake is closed to public access and fishing. Spirit Lake is located inside a 30,000-acre designated research area north of the volcano. Access to the lake is restricted to the Harmony Trail on its northeastern shore. The story of Spirit Lake is one of amazing destruction and renewal. The lake has become an important laboratory for understanding how aquatic systems respond to large-scale disturbance. Insights gained at Spirit Lake are being applied to the management of other disturbed aquatic systems around the world.